This is the heart and soul of the American justice system. Uh, what we do for individuals without representation or who have not had adequate representation is very important to the integrity and the credibility of our justice system. There are uh, men and women all over many states in this country who have no ability to get any kind of competent representation. The defense lawyer and the prosecutor have opposite roles. Both of them are supposed to represent their client as vigorously as possible. And I think, unfortunately, in the real world, people on death row don't get that vigorous representation. At any one time, we have 50 or 60 cases, and that's 50 or 60 human beings without lawyers who are death sentenced, and we just can't find enough lawyers to represent them. Being on death row is, is one thing, but being on death row without a lawyer is like being just being hopeless. You don't know the system yourself, and you need someone to fight for you, and it's, it makes a world of difference to know that you have someone that's competent. Race and the death penalty have been linked through the history of our country. We had black codes, we had slave codes, we had Jim Crow. None of these things ought to happen uh, in a fair system, but they have happened historically in this country and they continue to influence uh, the administration of the death penalty. This profession sees as its obligation to ensure that everybody in this country is assured adequate access to our courts, but more importantly, very good and solid representation on their cases. The project was created 25 years ago to fill what was then an emerging crisis of counsel for death row prisoners. Today, we need a much stronger word than crisis because there are hundreds of people on death row who don't have lawyers at all. In one respect, it's too bad that we still have to have the death penalty representation project. On the other hand, boy, it sure is a great thing that we do have it. Today, I'm a volunteer death penalty lawyer because it's energizing work, it's fascinating, I think it's important, and also, you really are representing somebody in dire circumstances. One thing we've learned from 25 years of experience is how to work with law firms, how to get them the resources and the advice that they need to be successful. Large law firms can play a very important role in several respects. First, they can take individual cases and in those cases show the effects of a, a public defender that didn't have the resources he or she needed to represent the client fairly. They can take a number of cases and show systematically that there need to be changes in that public defender system so that miscarriages of justice will not continue to occur. My firm, for example, is taken on the state of Texas. And down in Texas, those clients have never seen a real lawyer who cares about their case until a law firm working through the ABA Death Penalty Representation Project came on the scene and took the case. When big law firms are asked to do these cases, uh, they're usually at a point where there's no right to counsel, and oftentimes there are very important claims. There's innocence, there's racial discrimination, 
there's prosecutorial misconduct, there's horrible uh, lawyering, all that denied a fair and just verdict. It is a great credit to the law firm. There is nothing more compelling than doing a death penalty case. There is nothing more important to, to our justice system that, uh, than ensuring that individuals uh, have an opportunity for access to our courts in a very meaningful way. The best thing about this work is that we've had an incredible number of successes. We've had volunteer lawyers who've exonerated their clients, won them new sentences, um, new hearings, but really we define success a little bit differently. Whenever there's someone on death row who doesn't have a lawyer and is completely abandoned by their family and friends, getting a law firm to represent him, it's like they've won the lottery. It's an incredible moment. It made a huge difference when I finally got competent attorneys because they were able to go out there and do a thorough investigation and uh, they knew the law regarding capital punishment and therefore I was granted relief. Had I not had received those attorneys, I wouldn't be talking to you now. I would be dead because they gave me two execution dates. Over the past 25 years, we've recruited the country's top law firms to represent death sentence prisoners who don't have lawyers. And I have yet to be told by a single one of them that it's not the most incredible experience of their career. This is a project that is very easy to staff. Uh, our younger lawyers, as well as our partners, really want to work on these cases because they're really getting a full gamut of litigation experiences. We find that it provides them with stand-up time in court. The young lawyers are going up against assistant attorney generals, prosecutors, and, and getting really excellent confidence-building experience. I think when you take all of those things into account, we feel like we've gotten more than an adequate return on our investment. It was not at all important to me whether my client was innocent. And I, I've now done two death penalty cases. Arguing for someone's life is unlike any experience. When the jury came back with a no-death verdict, I was so high, I couldn't be brought down for weeks. And to think that we can do that as lawyers is, is truly a gift. We must be there for the most popular cases, but we also must stand for the most unpopular cases. We must be there for people who have a lot of money and people who don't have a lot of money. This is our calling. This is something we do because we've chosen to do it. And I'm very proud of the fact that the American Bar Association offers great opportunities for lawyers, both young and old, to participate in one of the most gratifying, self-fulfilling, and important aspects of being a lawyer that we can have. I really think the commitment to assuring uh, death sentenced inmates get good counsel is a very important part of the profession. I think if you're looking for a professional challenge and looking for a way to put your training and skills as a lawyer to the test and to really good work, you should take one of these cases. It is just marvelous that for 25 years the ABA has been in the forefront of leading the call for clear and high quality representation for those on death row. Let me share a little story with you about me and my mom. See, my mom and I were together for the whole 18 years. And what, what had happened the last couple of years, I, I, would, I was able to call my mom. And I would call my mom to ask her what did she cook that day. And the, and the reason why is because the food was so bad that I was eating that I just wanted my mom to tell me what she was cooking so I could visualize it in my head, right? The day when I got out, the first thing I did was I called my mother. And I called my mom and I asked my mom, what you cooking? Because my mom didn't know, nobody knew. So I asked my mom, what you cooking? And she said, why? And I said, because I'm coming home, you know? Your son is now coming home. Good people have done great work to get me back home. 